Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to create texture atlases in Blender. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content on 3D and 2D production in Blender. Before we get started, let's quickly go over what texture atlases are. Creating texture atlases is an effective method to reduce the draw calls of 3D objects by baking multiple textures into a single texture. For example, if a 3D model consists of a total of three materials, through texture atlases, one can consolidate the properties of these three materials into one material by baking the albedo, metallic, roughness, and normal maps of each of the materials into a single albedo, metallic, roughness, and normal map. In doing so, we can greatly reduce the rendering costs of a scene making our final product more performant. Besides Blender, texture atlases can be created using software such as Substance Painter, Photoshop, and many others. Now that we have an understanding of what a texture atlas is, let's see how we can create it in Blender. For the sake of this demonstration, I'll be using a cube primitive. Let's start by applying six different materials to our cube. Each of these materials will have a unique color and roughness value. Once that's done, let's create an image texture in our first material. Note that this will be the texture onto which the atlas will be projected. For this tutorial, I will create a 1024 by 1024 texture as it will be easier to bake the texture atlas. Remember, the larger the texture resolution, the longer it will take for the texture atlas to bake. Be sure to give the texture an appropriate name. Now copy and paste the image texture node into the shader editor of the other five materials. It's important that all these materials share the same image texture node so that they can all be baked into the texture atlas. Also make sure that each of the nodes in all six materials remain selected. Before we go any further with the baking process, we need to ensure that none of the model's UVs are overlapping. Do this by switching the layout to UV editing and switching over to edit mode to view the UV map. Notice how all six surfaces are non-overlapping. This means that none of the texture data of one UV island will be eclipsed by that of another. Once that's said, go to the render properties category and switch the render engine from EV to cycles. Scroll down to the bake section and set the bake type to diffuse as we are going to bake the albedo texture atlas first. This means that the albedo property of all six materials will be consolidated into one single albedo texture. Before you hit bake, ensure that the cube is selected. Bake times will depend on the complexity of your 3D model the output resolution of your texture, as well as the power of your GPU. Once baking is complete, switch to the UV editing layout and check the final texture. As explained earlier, the colors of all six materials are now consolidated into one single texture. And just to be sure, let's test this on a different model. Duplicate the original cube and delete all the materials replacing them with a new material. In the shader editor, create an image texture node and assign the texture atlas to it. Connect the node to the base color input of the principal BSDF node. As you can see, the atlas contains the color values of all six individual materials. Now that we have an understanding of the process, let's create texture atlases for the roughness values and normal data of all six materials. Since the material and image texture nodes are set, all we need to do is ensure that the 3D model and the image texture nodes in each of the materials is selected. 
Once that's done, switch the bake type from diffuse to roughness and hit bake. As you can see, a texture atlas of the roughness values of all six materials is baked. Similarly, the same can be done to bake normal maps by setting the bake type to normal. Now, you might be wondering why I haven't demonstrated how metallic maps can be baked. That's because there is no direct way in which metallicity can be baked in Blender. The approach I follow is to make metallic objects emissive and then bake the texture atlas using the emit bake type. To make it easier to define the materiality of objects, I treat metallicity as a binary property. This means that the objects can either be metallic with a value of 1 or non-metallic with a value of 0. So by connecting all the bake textures to their respective inputs, you can see how multiple materials can be consolidated into a single material while retaining their respective properties. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating texture atlases. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.